Crayfish, also known as crawfish or crawdads, are freshwater crustaceans. They are becoming increasingly popular around the world. This is due to their delicious taste and versatility in various cuisines. As demand grows, so does the opportunity for crayfish farming. This practice offers a sustainable alternative to wild-caught crayfish. It allows for controlled production and reduces pressure on natural populations. Crayfish farming is an exciting venture for both seasoned farmers and enthusiastic beginners. It involves creating suitable habitats and understanding the biological needs of these fascinating creatures. This comprehensive guide will equip you with the knowledge to start and manage your own successful crayfish farm. From selecting the right species to harvesting your bounty, we'll cover every step of the process. We will provide practical tips and insights to ensure your crayfish thrive. Join us as we delve into the rewarding world of crayfish farming. Selecting the appropriate crayfish species is crucial for a successful farming venture. Different species have varying growth rates, environmental tolerances, and market values. Researching and choosing species suitable for your region's climate and water conditions is essential. Some popular species for farming include the red swamp crayfish, the white river crayfish, and the Australian red claw crayfish. The red swamp crayfish, known for its rapid growth and adaptability, is a favorite among farmers. The white river crayfish, prized for its large size and meat quality, fetches a higher market price. The Australian red claw crayfish, with its tolerance for higher temperatures, is suitable for warmer climates. Consider factors such as market demand, local regulations, and disease resistance when making your selection. Consulting with experienced crayfish farmers or aquaculture specialists can provide valuable insights. They can guide you in choosing the most suitable species for your specific farming goals. Crayfish, like all living creatures, require specific environmental conditions to thrive. Providing a suitable habitat is paramount for their growth, reproduction, and overall well-being. Water quality is of utmost importance. Crayfish are sensitive to changes in pH, ammonia, nitrite, and dissolved oxygen levels. Maintaining a pH between 7.0 and 8.5 is ideal. Regular water testing and appropriate filtration systems are essential to ensure optimal water quality. Temperature also plays a significant role in crayfish growth and metabolism. Most species prefer temperatures between 22 and 28 degrees Celsius, or 72 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Providing adequate shelter is crucial for crayfish. They are naturally solitary creatures and require hiding places to reduce stress and prevent cannibalism. PVC pipes, rocks, and submerged vegetation offer excellent shelter options. A substrate of sand or gravel at the bottom of the pond or tank allows for burrowing, which is essential for some species. Crayfish can be farmed using various systems, each with its advantages and drawbacks. Pond systems, the most common method, involve raising crayfish in earthen or lined ponds. Ponds offer natural food sources and ample space for growth. However, they require larger land areas and can be susceptible to predation and water quality fluctuations. Raceway systems utilize long, narrow channels with flowing water. This system allows for higher stocking densities and better waste management, however it requires a constant water supply and can be more expensive to set up. Tank systems, typically used for smaller-scale operations or hatcheries, involve raising crayfish in tanks or containers. Tanks offer greater control over environmental parameters, but require more intensive management. Integrated systems combine different farming methods. For example, crayfish can be raised in rice paddies, providing an additional source of income for farmers and benefiting from the natural ecosystem. The choice of farming system depends on factors such as available land, water resources, budget, and production goals. Section 5. Feeding Your Crayfish – A Balanced Diet Crayfish are omnivorous creatures with a diverse diet in the wild. They consume algae, aquatic plants, insects, worms, and even small fish. In a farming environment, providing a balanced diet is crucial for optimal growth and health. Commercial crayfish feeds are available, offering a convenient and nutritionally complete option. These feeds are formulated to meet the specific dietary requirements of crayfish at different life stages. Supplementing commercial feeds with natural food sources like chopped vegetables, fruits, and protein sources like worms or mealworms can enhance growth and improve overall health. It's important to avoid overfeeding as excess food can deteriorate water quality. Observe your crayfish's feeding behavior and adjust the feeding frequency and quantity accordingly. 
A good rule of thumb is to feed them as much as they can consume within two to three hours. Section six, the circle of life crayfish breeding. Understanding the reproductive cycle of crayfish is essential for successful farming. Most crayfish species reach sexual maturity within six to 12 months, depending on the species and environmental conditions. Breeding typically occurs in the spring when water temperatures rise. During mating, the male crayfish deposits sperm packets onto the female's abdomen. The female then lays hundreds of eggs, which she carries attached to her abdominal appendages or swimmerettes until they hatch. The incubation period varies depending on the water temperature, but typically lasts for several weeks. Once hatched, the juvenile crayfish, known as cralings, remain attached to their mother for a short period before venturing out on their own. Providing ample shelter and a nutritious food source is crucial during this vulnerable stage to ensure high survival rates. Section 7. From Farm to Table, Harvesting Your Crayfish Harvesting crayfish is an exciting time for farmers, marking the culmination of their hard work. The harvesting time depends on the species and desired market size. Most crayfish reach marketable size within six to eight months. Various harvesting methods are employed, including traps, seines, and drain harvesting. Traps, baited with fish or vegetables, are a common method for smaller scale operations. Seines, large nets dragged through the water, are used in larger ponds or lakes. Drain harvesting involves partially or fully draining the pond to collect the crayfish. Once harvested, crayfish should be sorted by size and quality. They can be sold live, fresh or processed into frozen or value-added products. Section 8. Keeping Crayfish Healthy, Disease Prevention and Management Like any farmed animal, crayfish are susceptible to diseases and parasites. Maintaining optimal water quality, providing a balanced diet, and reducing stress are crucial for preventing disease outbreaks. Common diseases affecting crayfish include white muscle disease, caused by a lack of vitamin E and crayfish plague, a highly contagious fungal infection. Regularly monitoring crayfish for signs of disease, such as lethargy, loss of appetite, or discoloration, is essential for early detection and treatment. Quarantining new crayfish before introducing them to the main population can help prevent the spread of diseases. Consulting with a veterinarian specializing in aquatic animals is recommended for diagnosing and treating diseases. Section 9, The Business of Crayfish Costs, Profits, and Market Demand Crayfish farming can be a profitable venture but it's essential to have a solid business plan. Startup costs include pond construction or tank purchase, water supply systems, aeration equipment, and initial stocking of crayfish. Operating expenses include feed, labor, electricity, and marketing. Market demand for crayfish varies depending on location and consumer preferences. Researching local markets and identifying potential buyers is crucial. Crayfish can be sold to restaurants, seafood markets, or directly to consumers. Diversifying income streams by offering value-added products like crayfish tails, soups, or sauces can increase profitability. Section 10. Crayfish Farming and the Environment, a Sustainable Choice Crayfish farming when practiced responsibly can be a sustainable aquaculture practice. Compared to other animal protein sources, crayfish have a relatively low feed conversion ratio meaning they require less feed to produce a unit of protein. However, it's crucial to manage waste properly to prevent water pollution. Discharging untreated effluent from crayfish ponds into natural waterways can harm aquatic ecosystems. Implementing best practices such as settling ponds, constructed wetlands, or recirculating aquaculture systems can minimize environmental impact. Choosing disease-resistant crayfish species and avoiding the use of antibiotics can further contribute to sustainability. By adopting environmentally sound practices, crayfish farming can provide a sustainable source of protein while minimizing its ecological footprint. Section 11. Final Thoughts. Diving into the world of crayfish farming. Crayfish farming offers a rewarding and potentially profitable venture for those passionate about aquaculture. By understanding the biological needs of crayfish, creating a suitable habitat, and implementing sound management practices, you can embark on a successful crayfish farming journey. Remember to research the best species for your region, provide a balanced diet, and prioritize disease prevention. As with any farming endeavor, challenges will arise, but with careful planning and a willingness to learn, you can overcome them and reap the rewards of raising these fascinating creatures.